Attention Starfleet, today's mission log is the Fitzgerald trial in Hogwarts Legacy. Let's go. Glad everything worked out. It's probably best for you guys to leave and go on a little vacay, you know? Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Alright, looks like we are going to the headmistress office. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. And where is Professor Fig? Let's go. Let's travel right up to him. Charms classroom. This one. Let's go to his classroom. Let's go. I need your help. I need to sneak into the headmaster's office. Because the portraits told me to. I hope I... Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle, and... I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it. Despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? Professor. One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Yeah, why do you have Polyjuice posting for the Headmaster just on stop? Very nice. How do you feel? Incredible. 
I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the headmaster's house elf. All right, well now I'm the headmaster. I can go and do whatever it is I want. Professor, a moment of your time, please. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Hello, sir, what's best? I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir. <laughs> I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets... I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Do I need to go down? I need to go down. Opposite way. Excuse me, children. Headmaster coming through. Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. You did. I'm waiting for this door to open. There we go. <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the ministry. Headmaster, yeah. What could he want? Professor, a word? Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> Good day, Madam Kagawa. Damn! He's rude. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. It's not about anything I've been doing. Mm, do, 
When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Professor, oh, I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as Jeez. it is. He's handling secret ministry matters, and I don't miss it. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. Well, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good! Good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. I said good day. Leeway for Professor Fig. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Scopes as hard and worker as any. Scroop! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scroop swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. And now I'm telling you that you can tell me. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scroop begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course, I, uh... Master does remember it. The strains when we ran through the purity of blood. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Toujours Thank you. Pur. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Ahem. Attention, students! I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the elegant banners of Ravenclaw. I shall be taking no questions at this time, or ever. I can't do magic right now as him. <coughs> That's unfortunate. Wait. Right. Wants me to go here. Uh. That's not a good thing. Uh. Excuse me. Come on. Ah, <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. Uh. Uh. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Woohoo! 
We've got another house token. I will be taking no further questions at this time. Alright, we need to make it to the Hidden Master's office. Which is at like the very top of the towers. In that quad workout, man. All these stairs. Revelio. Even I'm getting winded on this, jeez. Jeez. Wizarding families have a motto. Eh, they probably do. Rebellion. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick Save. thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? That must be the pedestal. Explore the headmaster's office, you know? It's not every day you get to sneak in and be alone in here. Very nice. There's something to pick up. Let's see. <laughs> you gotta have those cures for those boils.
Oh, Professor wow. Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Eve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Creepy as hell. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. They're gone. For now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? I think we're getting there. I need to time this just right. This is pretty, uh, pretty heavy if you ask me. This is... I see. A staircase straight ahead. Alright, I just gotta, okay. Oops. I got rid of them there. So he just appears. Great. How could this happen? A ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. False. Oh, It'll be easier for him to find you. Shit, there's so many of them. This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. This is your chance for what? Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Okay, this one's definitely gonna walk. This way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Close tight. No way but forward, I suppose. Man, 
this is like the upside down and like Stranger Things. Kind of creepy. Whoa. Make your way through town without being seen. No? Where do I need to go? Now's my chance. Jeez. That's the way forward. Well then get there. Mysterious cloak. Are we learning about the Deathly Hollows? I think I'm invisible. This has gotta be something about the Deathly Hollows. Oh show. Can I go through here? I might want, can I do Ravel? Oh. I can't go through there? Go through here? go through them now they can't see me at all I can get closer to them I, I, don't, I don't really want to this is the way forward finally free now Maybe. where are you leave that was crazy Run death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. So I can use the wand this time. I've never felt so much power. They said I won't be able to hide this time. Oh, okay, so it gave me Depulsion. Where's the way out? Where's needed beacon Fringo? Descender! Defender! Depulsor! Descender! I don't know how to get out of this place. Depulsor! Let me out. Of here. Rebellion. <laughs> Depulsor. Defender. Bombarder. I thought I had already tried that.
bombarded. Right round. Get the other one, but that's okay. Kept just doing Depulso, hoping that they were charging me, but apparently not. That's okay. We still need to have the resurrection stone.
Is there no one else? How dope is it that I get to use the Elder Wand? Look at this bad boy. Nice. Did I find you? Won't let me run anymore, so I'm guessing I did. The resurrection stone. This is this is a cool mission. Really cool mission. All right. Another wave. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Oh. Nothing is what it seems. Sweet Neve. Let us always honor her memory. May her memory be a treasure to us forever. Oh. You found me. But you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember oh, that as you witness my memory.
Again, what a vault. For just a drop so that you can see the memory. Like, what a, what a crazy, crazy concept. So cool. It's also really cool. We're in like a book. This is. We're in a book with all the ink. Isadora, what you did for your father was remarkable. Well, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival! And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow, it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands You saw again. what I did for my father. Imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. What are you doing? Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, it's Adora. Is this like wizard drugs? This must stop. Is that what this is? Is this wizard oh. drugs? She just like, hey. Well, you've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you Do you fear feel it. it? Like, I choose to embrace it. I think it's wizard drugs. She's doing wizard salts. What a trip. Where'd we end up? The map chamber? What? That's nuts. Hey, I'm back. Oh, Is there's two. Has someone completed the first three trials? Yeah. It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. Wizard drugs. I'm telling you. Wizard drugs. Fascinating. I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power, and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Mm. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bacar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She yeah. was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. Maybe. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, 
I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. That was a crazy, crazy time. That is for sure. Um, but I'm going to call it there for today. I think we've had an amazing day. We've gotten a lot done.